It's Vietnam Veterans Day, a time for America to honor those who served during that conflict. More than 58,000 servicemen and women died in the unpopular war. The final U.S. troops left Vietnam on March 29, 1973. And when they came home, they never got the show of support and appreciation given to other veterans. How far is it from the coast? Too far. <laughs> so we either got it flown in, in large airplanes, the fuel, or if they could come to us by road, obviously they did that. Today in Grand Prairie, local Vietnam veterans shared their wartime memories during a program at the main library. Anytime aircraft, helicopters, and uh, B-52s, F-104s, all the things in the, in the inventory to check in with us and we were taking, kind of drive them around, uh, follow them around on the radar scope. I feel fortunate I was not in any kind of combat and I'm thankful every day for that and every time I see a veteran, especially one with the Purple Heart, I, I uh, shake their hand and thank them for their service. Others say they are still fighting a misconception about Vietnam veterans. A lot of Vietnam veterans uh, came back and assimilated right into society and, and did some very productive things between now and then. Most of us are retired at this point. Uh, it's a matter of uh, trying to uh, improve our perception, the public perception of the Vietnam veteran. We're not, the, uh, we're not necessarily the homeless guy with the fatigued clothes out on the, out on the curb asking for handouts. Uh, we are productive in society and uh, we're contributors. You can see a display of clothing, photos, and other Vietnam War items at the library through next week. And you can learn more about the Grand Prairie Vietnam Veterans Chapter by visiting VietnamVetsOfGrandPrairie.com.